Hey, my name is Mary Glenn Frederick. I use she, her, and they, them pronouns. And uh, my film is called Magic Eat, the National Collegiate Witchcraft Competition, uh, which I wrote, directed, and edited. So uh, Magic E is a mockumentary about two teams competing in the National Collegiate Witchcraft Competition. Uh, it follows a college film student who's like trying to make a, a, her thesis film about these two covens uh, who are getting ready for that the climactic ceremonial competition that night. Um, and she is a non-believer. Um, yeah, but I also... Uh, have made music videos a lot and like love music videos so I was sort of it is a mockumentary but I'm also infusing some music video style and um and inspiration and also it feels very much like a love letter to uh filmmakers uh, especially the stressed out ones yeah so I was actually I was hired to uh uh, write the, and, and direct and uh, edit this film that to highlight these this cast of nine. So I was given a cast of nine, and it was like do any do make anything <laughs> with these people. And I was like, okay, a short film for nine people. Um, and I spent a really long time thinking about, um, you know, what is what is the style that will best serve us? What's the genre? What's the tone? Um, I had individual Zooms with all of them. I think that, you know, in, I, in thinking about stuff that I like, I was like magic and, and funny shit. Uh, and so, yeah, so I, I sort of fell upon the idea of a mockumentary about witches. And yeah, and then I had these individual Zooms with uh, each of these uh, actors and really tailored the roles to them. Uh, you know, just got to know them and got to know what they're into and kind of what their energy is. And so I think I initially, when I decided, okay, a mockumentary, because that Im that immediately gives me the framework of like, okay, we have teams, and then we have the the filmmaker, the director, and then the the camera operator, who we never actually see. Um, but. So I had, as I was thinking, I, I write in motion a lot. Like I'm not, I, I'm, I wish I was like, a, I can sit down and write and I can't. <laughs> um, so I sort of like write and think and jot things down in an iPhone note and then dictate or, you know, type it all out later. Um, so some of the, some characters like popped up right away, you know, the like really over eager one and the, and the one who's like really type A and then the one who's really like laid back and like has, you know, comes from a long lineage of witches. So, um, so yeah, some of them, oh, there the, was this sort of like violent one. Uh, and then, you know, her twin brother, who's very soft and light. Um, so the, the, it was like certain things were, or characters were coming up in my mind. And as I was like w meeting and talking to these actors, it was like, okay, I see you here. I see you here. And then really talking to them filled out um, the, the blank spaces um, uh, of, oh, oh, okay, well, what is, okay, if, if we have these energies already on this team, then this one kind of rounds it out. And and if, you know, this character and this character match up, then like this character should match up with an energy that's kind of like this. So I re it was a lot of like matrixy thinking, you know, um, energetic matrixy thinking. I, I sound very witchy right now, I recognize that. Um, but I, yeah, and thank you for saying what you said about the ensemble piece, because that was really a focus of mine through like every step of the process was wanting to showcase all of them equally. And so in the writing, in the filming, and especially in the editing, the like my first cut, I think the script was initially like 25 or 26 pages, or I think it was about that when we shot. The first cut was 24 and a half minutes. And of course it's like, you know, get your film down for festivals. And I'm hearing that. And I worked really hard to do that and wound up cutting what felt like arms and legs off, like, you know, getting like, I think eight, eight minutes off, something like that. But I, one thing, it took me quite a long time in the edit to do that because I was like, I'm not, I, I refuse to decimate anybody's role. I refuse to sort of, um, leave someone um leave anyone's character in the background and, and not let them have like their moment that was really important to me that all these young actors have a moment to shine so thank you for reflecting that um uh, because it was like it was definitely laborious but it um, mattered a lot to me 
so I received a micro grant for festival submission fees, uh, which is so exciting. Still makes me grin really big. Um, and it's it's just so meaningful. You know, I, like I, I was hired to do this job and there was like a small budget, but um, at every step of the process, I was putting in my own money. Um, you know, like a down to like, like buying breakfast and crafty and coffee on set because I'm like, I caring for the people I'm working with uh, really matters to me. I paid for an extra crew member, um, you know, paid for a bunch of different uh, post positions, a composer, um, uh, motion graphics, uh, color, uh, yeah, many different things. And so, you know, I know so many of us who do this, it's like we, we're pouring our, we're pouring our time and our energy and our blood and our sweat and our tears and oftentimes our own money uh, into it. And that was my experience. And that really mattered to me in this process to both like take care of people on set and also to pay the artists who I was hiring. I, I really, even if I don't have a ton of financial means, it really matters a lot to me to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, so to, to win a grant that like covers this sort of last step of the process to be able to submit to all the festivals I want to submit to, that just is so, it, it's just, it's huge. It's a huge financial relief for me. And it's like, it also is such a, an emotional affirmation of like, oh, yay, like it can keep going at that moment in the process where you're like, I don't know, maybe no one will ever see it. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, so I um, I guess I first really started like pursuing acting when I, I went to grad school and I uh, went to UC San Diego and uh, just got to be around and work with so many amazing playwrights. And I think it sort of planted the seed in me. Um, I loved our classes with them. I loved like talking about new plays and I I, at the moment, wasn't consciously thinking, oh, I want to write, um, you know, or I really want to be a playwright. But um, but it, it definitely was, I think, I looking back, I'm like, oh yeah, the seeds were planted. Um, and then I moved to New York and, um, you know, was doing some auditioning, but you also, I realized, I was like, if I am living and dying by each audition, then I, I will just be dying. Like it's, it's, um, it's sort of, is too brutal and I was writing a lot and not showing anyone you know um but I was also working a ton of day jobs and um, when the pandemic hit I finally had the resource of time and just was like uh, and and kind of got out a lot of scripts that I think were like backed up uh in the system um yeah, and I think, I mean, I started video editing in college and making music videos. And so that was also always kind of here, uh, just to the side. It was something that I love to do. And I I think part of what gave me confidence to pursue both um, screenwriting and playwriting more was realizing that like, oh, video editing is writing. It's just visual writing. And so I've been doing that storytelling. I've been, uh, creating those arcs and really, you know, think thinking about story in these ways, it's just in um, you know translating that to the page uh, as opposed to um, visually. So yeah, I mean, I, I primarily act and write, but I also find myself editing and and directing and sometimes producing and doing many more things to try to make money and survive late stage capitalism. Um, but I. Yeah, I think I, I mostly, I think in terms of how I am moving forward with projects in my life, it's like I t tend to try to follow what sounds fun uh, and like what um, people I like or, or ideas. If it's my own work, it's it's um, ideas that I'm excited about. I really love um, thinking about uh, breaking form, uh, both in, in film and on stage. So a lot of my writing, I'm always kind of thinking about the audience and how does an audience experience something and how can I break or um, undermine or sort of um, challenge the audience experience. So yeah, I just like, I love 
I love the creative process and I love collaboration like kind of more than anything in the world and and so I don't always I don't normally for me I don't always care like what my role is I just want to be creating I mean I, I just want to say thank you <laughs> I like I am so I, I'm, I'm just really really grateful um, I, I really wish that there was like a recording of my face when I got the email where I won because I when I got the email that I was a finalist I was I, like that was so huge for me and it felt like oh my gosh like somebody liked some, somebody liked the movie like that was such a such a bump um but there were also so many finalists and I was like cut like these people in these projects look amazing there's no way I'm gonna win um and I I was fully just like I was very giddy uh, when I when I got the news so I'm very grateful and Super excited, so thank you.